Good evening and welcome once again to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mayer. Here we are on day 11 in 2024 and I'm continuing the story of when Sumedha meets the Buddha Dipankara. Remember, Sumedha had been born into the most luxurious life. He was the son of a wealthy merchant. He had been born into a very wealthy family. Both his mother and his father had great wealth, and all of his grandparents had had great wealth, which they had passed on to their children. Now, when Sumedha's mother and father had both passed away, he ended up inheriting a huge amount of wealth. His steward had read off to him all the different things that he now owned, properties, jewels, accounts, so much. And he realized that he couldn't take any of it with him. His parents had not been able to, his grandparents had not been able to. So what was the point of it all? Why should he gather more? Why did he need any of it all? And he decided that he would give all of his wealth, all of his possessions away to people that were in greater need because he had a goal. He had a goal to seek liberation. Now he presented his plan to the king who gave Sumedha his blessing. Sumedha, well, he benefited many, many people with his gifts before he left to go to the forest. It wasn't long before his hair grew long, his beard grew long, but his brilliance increased dramatically. He put all of his energy into realization, realizing subtle laws of nature, realizing the truth inherent in all things. As he transcended into that place of unity each and every day, things came to him and he gained what some people would call yogic powers. But they did not mean much to Sumedha because he knew that he had not realized his ultimate goal. Now there was one day when he was seated in a trance, not in blissful unity, when there was a commotion over by the road that ran next to the forest where he had his retreat. He rose up into the air, seated in full lotus, and made his way over the forest to above where all of these men were working on the road. And he looked down at them and he said, what, what is this great commotion? He was genuinely interested. He definitely was not scolding. Oh, venerable Sumedha, one of the workmen called up. The Buddha, Dipankara, is coming. He's going to be sharing his Dharma, his teachings in the city this evening. He is on his way. So we are preparing the road so his way is smooth and easy. Well, Sumedha's eyes just opened wide with joy. This something he had been waiting for, well, wishing for, longing for, to meet a real Buddha, even to hear the word come from the workman's mouth, Buddha, filled him with such joy. How can I help, he called down. Well, the foreman of the crew 
said, please come, I will show you what needs to be done. And he took Sumeda down to a low part in the road that was, well, wet, rather swampy. Now he knew that Sumeda had supernatural powers and he hoped that he might be able to get this task done. Sumeda was overjoyed. Uh, it was like a kid in Christmas, they would say, or a kid in a candy store. He was so excited that he was going to get the chance to see a real life Buddha, the Buddha Dipankara. And he began to shovel as quickly as he could, shovelfuls of dry earth into this swampy area. Now, if you've ever tried to fill in a wet spot in a road, you'll know that it is not an easy task. And that almost as fast as you can, well, throw that earth into the wet area, that earth becomes wet itself. One shovel full after another, after another, he threw. It helped a little bit. It created a pathway that was, well, muddy and mucky, whether just rather than just water. But it was still not smooth and an easy walking place. Now, the Buddha Dipankara was making his way. He was surrounded by monks and nuns and, well, followers. From peasants to kings. And Sumedha could hear their approach. He looked in the direction of the flutes that he was hearing being played and the drums that were beating. And he could see in the air beautiful pennants flying, silken of many colors. And he began to think to himself, how, how can I, well, show my respect and give a gift to the Buddha Dipankara. What can I give him? And then it came to him what he would do to show his devotion, his fixed attention, his focus upon the goal to gain liberation to gain enlightenment, to be of benefit to everyone and everything. And I'll share you, with you tomorrow what it was that he figured out. Okay, thanks for joining. Have a good rest of your day or evening.